All right, double more to you, laddies. My name is Mr. Man, and I am going to be doing the comic book thing where you do the comics. We read the comics in the last episode, so now we're going to redraw them, and it's going to be epic or something. So let's go and redraw them now. Super fast transitions. Oh, one quick thing that I want... One quick thing that I want to talk about is it's going to be time lapse, so I might do a voiceover in between the time lapses and talk about my thoughts and stuff on the art. So now let's actually get into the time lapses, okay? So let's go. <laughs> This is Comic Life, and it's, um, properly illustrated form. I missed this head because I wanted to draw that. Well, I kind of, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't draw it. I just guess I missed it. But, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But, I like the overall result of the comic. I think it looks good. Definitely better than the original. Um, so, I don't know if we should do color, or, because I don't think that everything's, I don't think it's long enough, the video. So, we are going to do some color on this bad boy. So, I'll do that on video because it doesn't take too long. Got my Copics. Red is the main resource. We're gonna use that for a ton of things. You might realize this is empty down here. That's because in this last panel, it's kind of just like this. So it has like, devil horns or i'm gonna do a slight trace with my pencil of it so i'll do like the devil horns that he has he has like where is it he has these like that turn this thing make that sharp and then and then do that over here. And then it's like something like that and then that. So you would need like a circle for kinda for the head shape base. And then I color that how it is. Alright, so I'll color that in. Hard to open, my hands are sweaty. Alright. Gotta. There we go. Alright. 
So we just just like that, and that's how you do it. But you don't want to like trace the circle on it because I'll show you what we do and what I did in the comic was I just had these two lines right here and going down like that. Those are our two lines and that's our double dude. Or you know what, I'll do like a little There we go. Alright, now I'll do his cape because it's always like just red. Um, so I can just color. It's fine. Okay, I can color his cape in. You guys heard that Mr. Peanut's dead? You know it's sad. He died. Brutally got exploded by a car after falling off of a cliff. It's true. It's legit peanut cannon. It's in like a Super Bowl commercial. They killed him off. It's crazy. Like, why would they kill him off, bro? Like, it doesn't make sense why you would do that. Like, uh, rip. Can we get rip in chat for Mr. Peanut? Yeah, that would be in. Yeah. Alright. So now we have the, um. Yeah, so. All of it. I'll just color all of his capes in. Because. Because in the original comic life, there was never a um, actual color. It was always just red. Red was the only color I wanted to show in comic life. Red, and, red, black, and white. So in the in the original one, or this guy, just him and himself, I'll give him a red T-shirt. I feel as though he likes the color red because he has a red cape or something. And you gotta color in the rest of his suit or the color that it is. And this is red, and then it's beaming red lights. like that all right I just realized I didn't give him any clothes for this one here wait I should probably just use my marker and I can just do this and then give him a little t-shirt so then I can color it in or give him a little, his little v-neck back. It's a little stripy thingies there. Alright. This is why I said coloring's easy for this, because it is, you know? All it is is just coloring everything in red and black, which is epic if you think about it. We gotta give him each little like. Oh, I forgot to give him his cape and my little, little 
can I cheat on this? I'm just... Oops, there we go. I'm doing this cake down here. There we go. I just realized his haircut kind of changes through the series. He has like this puffed thing on his head sometimes. His original one was like so calm. I don't know what happened after that. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I want, like, the spikes on this to be red. Because I feel like that would look okay. When it hits him, like, it's just, like, pew. And then the um, kabow is going to be in yellow. The kapow. And this whole character is supposed to be in um red in the in the series. He's just all red. It's not just this, the cape like unseeable over here. I might change unseeable's name. Yeah, I'm going to. No doubt about it. I'm changing unseeable's name. But I don't know what I'm gonna name him. I don't know what I'm gonna name him, but it's gonna be something cool. Look how mean he looks in this. It's pretty cool. Because his like entire torso piece is just red. Or his torso piece, not his arms. So I don't need to color in his arms like that. that part I have to color in red. Um oh yeah this little dude's red. Instead of going to a stupid, it is me kind of thing, I'm just doing what I feel like doing. Yeah, I'm going to add another color, which is yellow. The sun's going to be yellow, and then I'm going to give some yellow kaboom and stuff. The second ever color to join the um, series. Add the on Mr. Sun over here. That's what I'm doing. There we go. And then Pow is in this color. I wish there was like a gray marker that I had. That would make things way easier. Well, if I do too many coats of Copic Gray, then maybe not. Alright. That's what I got. Wow, I was missing a lot of things on this frame. I missed his arm design, too. It's, like, supposed to be metal. That's why it's, like, I gave it that little design tick thing where it's like lines and then lines lined up with those lines kind of i think it looks cool oh wait i could also add a little red on his shirt in the alligator mobile and i think that just about wraps comic life up except for Finding things, I can 
add another thing here and I can make this like this I can make like I can do the this whole thing I did the comic life thing so like I don't know if you can spot it but it's for uh it kind of lines up with everything I think it's pretty cool if you can see the then I like it um see how it's like this part's like getting pulled in with this um barbed wire rope that's parts it's because it's f and an e at the same time so i think that makes it look cool too and then i can also add these little eyes on it there we go okay this is comic life remake novel one i gotta do this top part too So, this is volume one. Instead of doing novel one, I'm doing volume one. I know, I know, I know. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's cut to open cam. We are done. Time to review everything. So this is um volume one. I managed to merge um volume one and volume two into each other kinda. So you see that it's like one half's kinda wait. So this is like where it cuts off in number one, like after this frame here oh i didn't label them but anyways this won't take too long it's fine it's just a perfectionist doing his work So, um, well, so I'll tell you the, you already know the story, but you can see each frame is way better looking than Blob characters that I did before, but still, this is Blob, they are Blobby, this is a good character, and once he swaps the hero version, I didn't care, so I just drew, drew, drew circle people, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's better, definitely. I don't think I have any mis spelling mistakes, except for cer cereal, which was mistake purposefully, because I felt like spelling it like that. And then, I messed up here, but that said barbed wired row. Okay, let's just read it. So... This first frame. Um. So it says one day a man was on. A man was on his couch. I'm bored, just like the original one. He was bored, so he went to 
So he went and got some breakfast. Cereal, be a hero. And then it goes, number um, three is, I got it. And then it says winner on the ticket, and he's holding the ticket in the air. And then he drives there in his alligator mobile. Yes, I felt like giving him an alligator mobile. That's his mobility. So that's epic. And then Serial Inc. Serial Incorporated. And then Mr. Sun's like, what's up, my dude? He was about to walk away when, like, this is after he got his suit because I didn't feel like doing the greedy part. He's a hero. Why would he be greedy? So, well, he could be, but I didn't feel like it. Anyways, he was about to walk out with his prize when we woo and want to know why. Because this, like, speech bubble goes into the next panel over here. So it goes like, we woo. And then he's like, what? He has a question mark above his head. And then this guy, like, mmm. <laughs> and then... And then Mr. Devil Dude is, like, around the corner. He's like, that's not fair. He has a weapon. Very good. That's not fair. He has a weapon. And then it's like, it's a barbed-wired rope. Uh-oh. Kapow. And he flies out of the atmosphere like before, but this time he has, like, fire and stuff. Or you know what? Where I put my Copics back away. I should have put, like, red on the top of that. That didn't work. That was nothing. That was just some stuff that scared me. Holy crap, that scared me. Okay, so we can just put this stuff here. And also, like, over here, because it's like... And, like, strands of it, like, chill, 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 chill. There we go. So it's like fire flying into the atmosphere with him. And then it goes, who are you? And it's like the guy that was hiding behind the corner. And then I don't know why I was trying to hide his identity. Uh, because, yeah. But this is the... Um, the devil dude that got turned into, um, that one, uh, black guy at the end of the very last episode, remember? Oh, sorry, spoilers, I'm sorry. Anyways, this is my comic, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I didn't, well, I did use, I did make this, but I was like, I didn't make this now. Because I, I wouldn't have thought of an idea to get become a superhero after going to Serial Incorporated. Um, nor did I think that... Like, who, where did I get that idea from? I can't... I, I remembered comic life, but I didn't remember how we got his superpowers. And we found co the comic life series in a box. And it was like, oh, I want it in a serial thing it's 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 weird okay it's fine everything's fine okay this is fine um i'm gonna put this up on my instagram and i'm probably gonna make some more so if you want to see the other ones i'm gonna put this up on my instagram because i don't feel like making 10 minute um a bunch more like 10 minute videos on making all the volumes so yeah, look at my Instagram if you want more of this stuff, and I am tired, bro. I've been sitting in this chair all day. My back hurts. <sighs> okay, well, time to hang it up on the wall. Back to sitting view, because I gotta go get some tape. Let's go.